if the true horizon and the reflected horizon does not come into line, after the index arm was set into zero degree position. That indicates that the sextant has an index error. After the adjustment, both the true horizon, and the reflected horizon, has come into line. The index error determined was, 2.5 minutes on the arc. The predetermined target, for sextant sight, is planet Venus. Move the index arm slowly, outward from the zero degree position, until the reflected shadow, of the planet Venus touches, the horizon. Determine the sextant altitude of the planet Venus, with the index error, of 2.5 degrees on the arc. Knowing that, the height of I is 9.0 meters. Dated August 23rd. Computation provided with the use of the nautical almanac. The sextant altitude of planet Venus is 46 degrees and 19.0 minutes. The sextant index error is 2.5 minutes on the arc. Subtract it to the sextant altitude and the result is the sextant observed altitude of the planet Venus which is 46 degrees and 16.5 minutes. Using the altitude correction table of the Sun, stars, and planets from the nautical almanac. Locate the dip column. Under the dip column, locate the height of I correction column. Under the height of I correction column, locate the meter column. Move down. Until 8.8 .8 meters, and 9.2 meters is found, the height of I, which is 9.0 meters, is in between that meter range, and the corresponding correction value, will be found. The height of I, is 5.3 minutes. Subtract it to the observed altitude of the planet Venus. The result is the apparent altitude of the planet Venus which is, 46 degrees and 11.2 minutes. Using the altitude correction table of the Sun, stars, and planets from the nautical almanac. Locate the stars, and planets column. Under the stars, and planets column. Locate apparent altitude correction column. Move down. Until 45 degrees and 36 minutes, range to 48 degrees and 47 minutes is found. The apparent altitude is in between, in this apparent altitude range, and the corresponding apparent correction can be found. Using the altitude correction table of the Sun, stars, and planets from the nautical almanac. Locate the stars, and planets column. Under the stars, and planets column. Locate the additional apparent altitude correction column. Remember that, only Venus and Mars has additional correction. Move down. Until July 14th to December 31st. And you will find out that the correction from 0 degree of altitude to 60 degrees of altitude is positive 0 0.1. Take note of the total apparent correction, which is 0 0.8 minutes. 
subtract the apparent altitude correction, to the apparent altitude of the planet Venus. Which is, 0 0.8 minutes. The result is the true altitude of the planet Venus, which is 46 degrees, and 10.4 minutes. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and click the notification bell, for you will be updated, for our next upcoming video.